What is up guys, it is Wavis back to bring you another video. Today, I have a special video for you. It took me a long time to actually get all these breaks, but these are so far the best breaks I've seen in nine ball pool. It took me a while to find these, but I wanted to share it with you guys, all my subscribers. So we'll get on to the first one. The first one is just, it's basically just the regular break. It's like, it's generic. That's why it comes in at number five. It's just, it's powerful and it does move all the balls around, but it's just so generic that I don't really want to count it as a break, but you know, don't, don't, you don't underestimate it. I mean, this break does a lot of things. It, it actually, isn't bad at all some people think it is like oh it's a generic break i can't do a generic break generic breaks aren't good this one is fine it doesn't pop balls sometimes but it definitely does kind of clear it up a little bit now this next one that's coming up is a little bit better though i actually like this this used to be the one i would always use until of course i started playing around with it a lot it took it didn't take long for me to find this all you want to do is put it up in the upper left hand corner and add full top spin guys this usually almost always pots one of the balls and it clears up the rest very nicely it's just overall a really nice break here's another look at it for you guys so that you can see the placement just put it up in the upper right hand corner full top spin and you don't have to move the cue ball aim around or anything just hit it and it clears up the balls so well and it also pots one or two balls every time. So that is used to be my favorite, but of course there's more. That would probably be ranked more, more further up, but none of these are in really particular order except for one and two, one and two, and are definitely one and two. Now this next one is just like the last one. It's just a little bit different. This time you have the same ball placement, but you need to put the crosshairs of the aim at a 90 degree angle. So basically where both of the lines are straight and it looks basically like this on your screen. When you have it like this, all you wanna do is add full top spin after you get it perfect and then just fire and it will clear up the balls pretty well and it will pot some sometimes and it won't pot some sometimes. It really just depends, but it really does just clear up the balls a whole lot. I really do like it. Again, none of these are really ranked except for number one and two. Number one or two are definitely one and two, the best that I've found so far. I think the best in the game. And that's later in the video though. But this break, it gets the job done and it does pop balls sometimes or sometimes. It also doesn't, it's not that reliable, but you know, it's whatever. Now for this next one, we have basically this one, the one, number one and two is where we basically get into the complicated, sophisticated one. Now this one is very tedious to do, but guys, when you get it perfect, it pays off so well. You guys will see exactly what I mean. So you wanna get the position exactly like this. Don't worry, I'll show you it again. And this break kills, guys. I mean, look at that. Look at that table, it's all scattered. You're perfect, it's like a perfect break. This break kills everybody, but the thing is, it's so tedious to do, it takes a lot of practice. Guys, I have a lot of practice with this break. When I found it, I kept practicing and practicing, and I basically got good at it. I still haven't even mastered it yet, but if you guys master this break, trust me guys, you guys will get denials every single time in nine ball pool. Nine ball pool won't even be like, you know, a challenge anymore, if you get the break, you're winning the game if you guys master this break right here. That's basically all there is to it. And sometimes if you get it completely perfect, you'll even pop the nine ball on that break. So that is really good. Guys, on with this next break. This break is my all time favorite. I'm trying to master this. It took me forever to find this break. So guys, if this break helps you and it makes you win games automatically, because if you guys get this break, you automatically win the game. The game is over if you automatically get this break pretty much. Now the thing is this took me forever to find. So if you guys could please drop a like for me going into games and just leaving until I get the break and experimenting. If you guys could drop a like on the video for this break right here. Guys, look at that. Now the thing about this break though, guys, the, the last two breaks, they're very, very, very tedious. If you don't get them exactly 100% correct, 
the break will not work. For example, this is the same crosshair placement, everything. It's just I placed the ball a little bit lower down and you see the break did not work. All the balls were all just bunched up and everything was just bad. But this, if you get it correct, here's another example. You get it, you just, there's no way. You, you, guys, you guys win the game automatically. This break literally breaks eight ball pool, this, or nine ball pool. No one can compete with this break, it's impossible. Now, I don't know if this is the best break in the game, but it's one of the best. But the thing is, guys, this break, it takes a long time to master it. I would not recommend it as the break. If you guys practice enough, of course I would, but my recommended break is the regular just in the top left corner with full top spin. Now, the reason for that is because this break is just, it's just reliable. You, you pop balls a lot of the times. The last two breaks are completely OP, but the thing is, it takes so much just perfection to actually be able to make up and pot a ball on those breaks and actually make the break to where the point where it looks like that. Guys, I've been practicing a lot with the last two breaks, but it is really just unreliable because you need to get it perfect. So I would not recommend it for you guys. It is the break that I am using now because I've gotten pretty good at it. Don't get me wrong. I sometimes I mess up the placement by just a little tiny bit sometimes but most of the time I get it 100% correct. But this is the break I recommend to you guys, just the top left corner with full top spin for those of you who don't wanna you know, work on mastering the break. And for those of you who can't even master the break, this is the one I recommend. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and don't forget to like and subscribe if this did help you guys. This video took me a long time of trial and error to find these breaks for you guys to share it with you. So if you guys could show your support and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I've been Wavis, and I'm out. See you in the next one, probably tomorrow. Bye.